the concept of civil rights is a little different from that of civil liberties. The term civil rights is most commonly used to talk about freedoms that a minority group had to fight for. In other words, it's about fighting for the Constitution to be applied equally. You might have heard the expression equal protection. Right? That's what civil rights is, is about. Because of the U.S.'s terrible history of slavery, black, white, black and white relations are a defining struggle of the nation. Now, we strongly associate civil rights with the civil rights movement of the 1960s, which was all about you know, rights for African Americans. And there are several films that illustrate aspects of the fight over these rights. Now, many white Americans, including myself at one time, just don't get why African Americans continue to have a hard time, even though slavery ended a long time ago. In this sense, the film The Help is a revelation. The Help takes place in the 1950s, in a community where African American women play an integral role in suburban white middle class homes. They are the maids, cooks, and nannies. When I first saw The Help, I had a couple of different reactions. The first was a little bit of shock that in a neighborhood that visually looked nearly identical to the neighborhood that I grew up in, a system of essentially economic slavery was happening. The second was that those black women were very intimately connected with the white families. They helped them get dressed. They helped raise their children. Some of the white women in the film were actually raised by the black women that were now their employees. This directly challenged a naive belief of mine, which was that the main reason for all the problems between white people and minorities today is that we're all kind of segregated from each other. We don't bump into each other that often. We all live in different bubbles. I only had a couple black friends growing up. Only a few minorities of any kind attended my schools. Now, I never had anything against black people or believed myself to be superior, but I was definitely ignorant of their struggles until I started to, to deliberately study it. And yet, even after learning about the civil rights movement and the political systems, I still didn't fully, you know, internally get it. And the help really helped me come to that very important understanding. Now, the help is not without criticism, though. And I think the critics make a good point. And that's that the film really has its central hero as a white woman. And it's through her efforts that the black women in the film are able to make their voices heard. This fundamentally misrepresents the civil rights movement. Yes, there were white people involved in the movement. There were plenty of white people that supported the movement, that you know, cheered them on, but they were not the central leaders. In contrast with the help, I recommend Malcolm History or sorry, uh, Mal Malcolm X. While the help is fictional, Malcolm X is a true story based on Malcolm X's autobiography. Malcolm X was and continues to be a very divisive personality. Even today, people put a lot of focus on his evangelism for black nationalism in the nation of Islam. And of course, we have to talk about Martin Luther King Jr. Selma is the must-watch film about MLK, although it focus, its focus is fairly narrow on a single event uh, that takes place in the civil rights movement. A couple other films wa worth watching, if you have trouble finding the others, Mississippi Bur Burning and To Kill a Mockingbird. Once again, both of these films about the plight of African Americans revolve around the experience of white people, which is mm, annoying, but they are still pretty good and enlightening. Now in this lesson we talked about The Help, Malcolm X, Selma, Mississippi Sippy Burning, and To Kill a Mockingbird. I don't expect you'll have trouble finding these films on DVD, Netflix, or Amazon streaming, or whatever, as they are all pretty famous films and considered classics. Once you've seen a couple of these, come back for the next lesson on the media and public opinion.